Now here's a matchup we may never, ever get to see. Rafael Brandao and Chris Bumstead. Both very classic in the way of their physiques. And I believe I've made many comparisons with these two dudes in the past, but never these two versions. They're too latest. The greatest? Maybe. Rafael Brandao with the Romania Muscle Fest Pro. Too darn bad he didn't compete at the Prague Pro just after, because Bumstead was there, and he looked awesome. What a battle that these two would have had. Now, the front double bicep pose, you could argue. Bumstead doesn't have the lag size of Rafael Brandao. Brandao does not get the credit that he deserves. In the size of those legs, they are massive. But Bumstead, as we've seen, next to that Martin Fitzwater, in particular the prejudging, Martin Fitzwater, Bumstead had him beat. Now in the finals, I guess, that's how it went. That's how it went. There's no sense of complaining about it, fellas. I mean, you can you can if you want, I guess. It's not going to change the decision, though. If everybody in the whole free world said that Bumstead won, wouldn't matter. It's not going to change it. But wow, wow, Bumstead has the, the detail. And you really need to see him next to the guys to realize that. And yeah, you can forgive him for a few inches in the wheels. Now I began with the front lats, bread because... Here's the front double. Because this picture of Bumstead sucks, it's a photo shoot. Uh, we're lucky to have this. We're lucky to have this. And now that I think about it, we were extremely lucky to even have this gift. You hear people like me, for instance, myself, Oh, Bumstead should do the Olympia now. Greedy. He gave us the gift before he retired. To just give us a glimpse of what he would look like against these competitors. And it's just a, a brief moment in time. Like I used to do those singing outros there for my last five or so videos. Probably never again. Probably just a little little peace in time. And thus was Chris Bumstead's open competition. <laughs> His entry to the open class. Hey, he could compete. He looks pretty darn good. He's probably beating Brandau in the front double. Look at the upper body, guys, and even in the wheels. Look at this. Bumstead, he holds his own. Brandau, maybe a better set of arms. Hard to suggest. For certain. Turn to the side. Wow. The sizing marks, Max Muscle. Is that a new voice for you guys? No, we sound like this, Marks Max Muscle, and you made the sizing way off. Way off. Brandau, I don't know, he's probably five foot ten, I think. Bumstead, few inches taller. But Bumstead, look at his far leg, guys. He's holding that like a statue. You know what, from the side... It is very difficult to beat Rafael Brandau, and I, I would uh, probably said that he had the best side chest of the Olympia. Up there with Martin Fitzwater, a couple other ones, but I mean, Samson, some quite substantial in that. Trump, trump, trump. Side tricep, hmm, yeah, yeah, see, Edward G. Robinson, see, have you ever sat down and watched an Edward G. Robinson film? They were all classics. I'm here to tell you, those actors, back then, they, they smelled bad in real life, they say. So they never showered, and they, they drank a lot, smoked cigarettes. So, I don't know where that came from. Foolishness is where it came from. Go to the back shots with Bumstead, perhaps the stronger from the front, and Brandau, perhaps the stronger from the side. And actually, in the back lat, to be honest with you there, Diane, it, it looks like Bumstead would probably get an edge. And that's hilarious. Keep in mind this picture of Brandau. It is not the best. You thought I was going to say sucks. Because it does. But it could be the fact that good old Bum Bum. Maybe he is just that much better. Well, the, the, the lag size, you can see that. Brandau has a few inches. 
and that's going to show up on stage, but so is the separation of the good Canadian buck. Here is the rear double. And I thought Bumstead was going to be outnumbered, outgunned from the back point of view. Doesn't seem to be as bad. Of course, Brandau. You got to think, guys. When he goes up against the best of the best in the back, he's nowhere near them. And I guess neither would Bumstead be. Condition-wise, leads me to believe that Bumstead, I think he would beat half Al Brandau. If Brandau, you got you to gotta think. This is the package that Brandau would have brought. Would have been similar. Wouldn't have been that much different. So I honestly think he would have got third, probably. If Clarita, Clarita might even have beat him. Who knows? Who knows? But that's very disrespectful to one half Al Brandau. Is it half Al? It's half Al, isn't it? I'll call him Raphael. You don't stop sending me messages, you guys. How to pronounce it correctly. Uh, send them to the other mixed strength and powers. He says it, Raphael. I'm not going to name any of the other names. Sorry, Nick. Strength and power. But either way, guys, Bumstead, he looks a little narrow in this shot. Could it be that he's tilted thusly? I think it is. Here's a vacuum. You ever notice folks don't use vacuums as much as they used to? You guys notice that? I think the carpets were just invented by the, the vacuum cleaner companies to sell vacuums. I think that's what was going on, if you know what I'm saying. So, zing! Propaganda. Vacuums. Here is... Wow. This is Bumstead being outsized by the Studley Moore. This Raphael. Raphael, he was one of the... One of the juvenile karate lizards, or whatever they called them. He was a juvenile karate lizard. Brew ha ha ooh Bumstead gets it back here. He does. He gets he got one back in the vacuum, kind of, and he got one back in the most muscular crab position. Losing the hands clasped. I guess it was hands on hips or whatever Brandau was doing. And he's getting one back in the crab. This just speaks to me. This speaks to me, it says Marx, Max Muscle, do a comparison between Bumstead and Arnold. I already did one, but not using this version. And I think he, he just looks like Arnold in this crab position. Gosh darn it. It would have been nice to see him in open. But like I said, guys, this was a gift, and we should appreciate the gift of Bumstead showing us what he had. And what he had rocked. Top four at the Olympia. Rocked. And I mean, well, you, you know the rest of it. He did good, guys. He could definitely easily defeat guys, top-ranked guys like Rafael Brandau if he was a little off. Brandau was on. I believe they asked him, didn't he? If he said he was on, he'd beat him. And if he wasn't, he wouldn't. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty basic. Don't quote me, though. I don't know if that's exactly what he said. I like the facial hair of Brandau. I like the uh, the moustache. Mike Sommerfeld's moustache was good too. It was good too. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. This is this is not to replace your You Pick Tuesday video. I will, in fact, be doing that. It's a ultimate classic physique out of all the classic physique division competitors. It's just taken a minute, and I did not want to let you guys go an entire day without hearing my harmonious tones. You just need it. You need it. And I understand, guys. And I will continue to give it to you. Have a great one.